Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to calculate effect size for an ANOVA test, an analysis of variance, and we're going to learn how to do this by hand. So before we start, let's take a look at the, an, ANO, an actual ANOVA test. In this particular test here, I've got three groups uh, of, and these are groups of young children who have been given different numbers of hours of language training. And these are their language scores after the first group has, uh, have had five hours of class, the second group have had 10 hours of class, and the third group have had 20 hours of class. So we want to see if the number of hours has an effect on the students' test scores. Our null hypothesis here, as always with the an ANOVA test, is that the uh, population mean of the 5-hour group is the same as the population mean of the 10-hour group, which is the same as the population, uh, population mean of the 20-hour group. So in other words, that there's no difference between the population means of these three groups. And our alternative hypothesis is that there's a, uh, that the population mean for the 5 hours is not equal to the population mean for the 10 hours is not equal to the population of 20. In other words, at least two of the population means are different. And we've conducted this test at an alpha value of 0 0.05. And uh, if you're learning about effect size, you probably have already know about uh, how an ANOVA table is created. And so this is a typical ANOVA table created uh, after conducting an, an analysis of variance on these three data sets. If you want to learn how to put this table together by hand, there should be a suggested video link on the video at this time. And we take a look at our, our results here. We report our results. The F statistic for 2 and 27 degrees of freedom is equal to 8.799. That's taken from the table. And our p-value is less than 0 0.05. So there's our 0 0.05 up there. We can see the p-value is 0 0.001, so it's less. Um, and when we put this on the F distribution, we can see uh, right here at the bottom that our critical value is 3.354. That's taken from the table. And our F stat value, once again, is 8.799 it falls into the reject region. Therefore, our decision is we reject a null hypothesis. What we're doing is we're rejecting this statement up here in favor of this statement here, that at least two of the population means are different. In other words, we have found an effect. So the number of hours of class time has an effect on the scores of the pupils in this case here. So at this stage, all we know is that we have found an effect. We don't know what the size of that effect is, and that's where effect size comes in. So our effect size um, for ANOVA is known as omega squared. Uh, so this is the omega symbol here. It's like an upside down W, a Greek letter. And uh, the formula for calculating omega squared is a little bit of a mouthful, but let's go through it. It's equal to the sum of squares between minus the degrees of freedom between multiplied by the mean square within. That's all divided by the mean square within again, plus the sum of squares total. So that is a bit of a mouthful. There are five ingredients on this formula, and the good news is, is that they all can be derived from the ANOVA table. So all five values for there are on our ANOVA table. So let's put them together, starting out with the sum of squares between. We can see the sum of squares between is 1133.1. So omega squared is equal to 1133.1 minus, and I'm going to keep the brackets here, the degrees of freedom between, well, the, this is the between line here, degrees of freedom is 2, and that's multiplied by the mean square within, which is, the mean square is on the second line here, the mean square within is 64.4. And let me draw the line here to go divide it. Mean square within is 64.4 again, uh, plus the sum of squares total, that's here in the table in the bottom right hand corner, bottom left hand corner, 2871.5. So there are the five values and they have all been taken directly from the ANOVA table. So um, this is a test, of course, that you're going to do when you have found an effect, when you have found a difference. If there's no difference, there's no point in doing an effect size. Uh, just a word on your terminology here, uh, the between here, that, that's the sum of squares between, that's the sum of squares between the groups, and that's sometimes known as the effect. So sometimes in ANOVA tables you will see, instead of between groups here, you will see the effect, and the second line, instead of within groups, you will see treatment. So that will vary from group to group. Okay, so let me get my calculator and start to work all of this out. So um, 2 times uh, 64.4, that's a straightforward, I'll do that in my head. So that's going to be equal to, uh, I'm going to start on the top line, 1133.1 1, 1, 1 minus uh, 2 times 64.4, which is 128.8. That is equal to 1004.3. Now work out the bit in underneath, 64.4. Plus 
2871.5 and that is equal to 2935.9 and that in turn then when I work that out then uh, 1004.3 divided by 2935.9 is equal to uh, 0 0.342 I'll just take three decimal places there so now what does this number mean this is our omega squared value omega squared is equal to this number how do we interpret that number well the um, author the original author and creator of the effects calculations for effect size was a guy called Jake McComb and in his book in 1988 he came up with a table of values for omega squared so a value of 0 0.01 uh, meant that there was a small effect. So in other words, what's happening there is you have found a difference, you have found a significant difference in your test, but that, that difference, the, the effect that has happened there is a small effect. In other words, there's not much happening. The uh, For the medium, uh, his value was 0 0.059. You'll sometimes see that rounded to 0 0.06. That indicates that there's a medium effect. And if the uh, omega squared value is 0 0.0, 0 0.138 and sometimes you see that rounded to 0 0.14 if it's that value or greater you have a large effect so we can see here that our omega squared value is 0 0.342 which is way above the uh, value for a large effect so we can conclude here that uh, the difference the effect that has been found the effect of the hours on the test scores that has been found in our ANOVA test here is a meaningful effect this gives us some, an, uh, an indication of the magnitude of the effect that we have found so some Somebody, uh, reading your results or your own interpretation could conclude that uh, the there is a big difference between these five the difficulty with uh, just doing a straightforward test is we get p-values or critical values and we say yes or no we reject the null hypothesis or fail to reject we have found an effect and now we can conclude that that effect is a very very meaningful effect so that's how you calculate effect size for ANOVA I hope you found this video useful thank you for your attention